You know, it's been a while since I've posted a video to this channel, and that's because I've been really busy producing my upcoming short film, Miss Responsibility. It's going to come out later this summer, and it's a comedy about a super rich party girl who has to prove that she can be a more mature adult. I hope you'll stay connected with the project. Uh, you can learn more at Miss Responsibility Film on Facebook or go to the landing page, clinttill.net slash film. As I was working on this project, it got me thinking about questions that people have asked me in the past about short filmmaking. And one of those questions is, hey, how do you develop really good characters for your short films? So that's what this video is all about, how to develop a good character for your short film. Now, everyone's methods are a little bit different. What works for me might not work for you. But these are just a few tips that I've incorporated into my work in the past. Maybe you'll find them useful as well. So how do we make good, strong characters for short films? Really, the main difference between writing a strong character for a short film and a feature film is time. You know, in a 5 to 15 minute short, you have very little screen time to develop a character. Whereas in a feature, you know, you've got a full 90 minutes or two hours to really show us that character's journey. But even though you're writing for a short, it doesn't mean that your character can't also have an arc throughout the story that you're making. So think about the journey you can put your character on. You know, give your character uh, clear and specific goals. That's no different from a feature film. Think about what it is in your film that they really want. Now, sometimes this may be different from what they say that they want. So you might have to use subtext to communicate to the audience what it is that your character is after. So when you have that goal in mind, then you got to make it difficult for your character to reach their goals. That's what makes films so engaging for audiences is seeing the struggle, seeing the character try to achieve their goals. You know, you can make your character learn something along the way. And we see this all the time in feature filmmaking. You know, where a character ends up at the very end of the film is different from who they were and where they were at the beginning of the film. You know, there's a journey, there's an arc. They've learned something about themselves about the world around them, about the people in their lives. And the same could be true of a short film. You can have a character learn something new by the end of your film, but that doesn't always have to be. You know, the great thing about a short film is you can have a character end up in exactly the same spot from where they began, or they're, they're the exact same person. And sometimes if you're writing comedy specifically, that can be really funny. If a character absolutely learns nothing throughout the journey, despite all the things they've been through. So whereas a feature film, you know, the character has an arc, in a short film, that arc can become a full circle and the character just ends up exactly where they started from. It's also important that you develop a backstory for your character. Now, with a short film, you do not have the luxury to really expand on a character's backstory and give the audience uh, the full scope of who this character is, where they're from and where they're going. But developing a backstory and thinking about who your character is and what happened to them just prior to where your script begins and what's going to happen right after your script ends, knowing that outside information is going to really help to inform your writing. And the last thing to remember is always ask yourself why. This is going to create a clear motivation for your character. If you're constantly asking yourself why, as you're writing, you will understand more about what the character is trying to do, what's driving the character, why they make certain choices, and then you could really kind of help to shape the character, give them a more well-rounded, authentic feel, and it'll help to inform your story and propel the plot forward. These are a few things that have worked for me when I'm writing short films. I hope you found something in this video that will be helpful to you as well. I'd love to hear about your experiences, so please leave your thoughts in the comments section. As always, be sure to click subscribe so you know when new videos are posted. You can connect with me on my website at clinttill.net. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.